What's up, Super Cruise? DC Sun, good to see you again. Here today to do an unboxing of sorts. Have uh, three unboxings to do. Uh, this will be the DC Sun Koto review. So I will slowly start doing a uh, Koto review and a Hot Toys review for some of the things that I have or things that I will pick up as well, just because there's a lot of different things to actually share with you guys some of them have come out some of them have not come out sometimes there'll be samples or um, uh, soon to be released uh, merchandise but until then uh, what I'll post I'll let you know as much information as possible also uh, check down at the bottom for the Kotobukiya link or Hot Toys re uh, link when I do those as well but anytime I do a review for this type of merchandise I'll leave some information there so you know where you can find it uh, as far as the Koto review goes I do occasionally do Koto review for Koto um, but at the time being, there's a lot of different uh, merchandises coming out, a little bit behind schedule. So in the meantime, on my channel, I will do some unboxings on my own. And we have the Supergirl uh, CW Artifacts uh, version, as well as Arrow. And last but not least, we will also have a limited edition of The Flash. I'll save this one for last, this Artifacts Plus version, mainly because this is the limited edition and I'll, my, I, I like to have the ladies go first in this one, also because I'm excited to see how this one looks. These are Artifacts Plus statues by Kotobukiya. And I want to see how this looks. Uh, I did a review for the uh, uh, Shoujo Koto Pukia Supergirl. And in this case, they are going to be very different. The Shoujo, meaning beautiful girl, is done by uh, Shunya, one of the artists that basically does all of their the Shoujo line. But the styles are going to be very different. <coughs> Here, the box itself has the TV Supergirl logo there at the base. If you guys can see it, if that helps. Get you some better lighting in there. If not, I have something for that. Da -da -dun. So the detail on the box uh, goes all the way around. Where it's showing the actual costume, how the figure looks, as well as the design uh, that matches the character and costume on the show. So if you have a stand of your own or a display of your own at home, you can actually take the insert out and set up yourself. I like this, uh, that soft color in the back, which also has the uh, the House of L symbol in the back, and then the base is the Supergirl logo there. These are inserts that you can take out, make a display of your own, or just keep in the box like I'm going to. Comes in the protective plastic, as you can see. Uh, there are two, three, there are two more arm settings in the back. Comes with a base. Uh, the Kotobukiya uh, bases used to be uh, these thick black plastic uh, stands that you use to put your uh, statues on that also have uh, metal in it so you can put the characters on top of it and they had magnets in the feet. One. And as a matter of fact, the plates themselves look much cooler in my opinion. Um, this is actual metal, that's pretty cool, I like that. It also has the actual symbol on it from the TV show. You have the copyright and things of nature on the backside. That's nice. <clears throat> the paint on this is really nice. Neat done. Hmm. May actually use this somewhere else later on down the line. But anyways, so I've taken out the Supergirl and 
this is what she looks like as is. The detail and quality of the paint as well as the uh, grading of the paint that's on this particular uh, statue is quite nice. The skin tones and things that are used on the new Artifacts Plus statues give it more of a uh, flesh tone and they look more realistic compared to the ones before. Now that's not to say that the ones before were bad because they're actually fantastically done. Uh, but they've changed up how they're doing their paint styles, uh, schemes, and things of that nature. So the Artifacts Plus statues are pretty easy to replace the uh, attachments and things. Especially when they're done as nicely as this, it's a simple so pull this out, put the replacement arm in, make sure I got that right where it's supposed to, and then uh, take the other one out. So anyways, I've been collecting Kotobukiya statues. In a while, at least a good eight to ten years, and the reviews that we've been doing for Koto or commercials that have done, like the uh, lightsaber chopsticks commercial, stuff like that, it's been going on for a good five, maybe, maybe six. Anyways, I like the work that they do. Rambling a little bit. Uh, I like the work that they do. Their quality for their statues, their price points are usually quite affordable. You can actually pick up, you know, any Kotobukiya figure quite easily, excuse me, quite easily from almost any location uh, that actually has it, whether it be online or store. This is what the crust armed Supergirl looks like. Uh, these are the magnets on the bottom of my feet. Apologies for that. I know the magnets were kind of hard to see, but the way they are made, and they seem to be a lot stronger than the ones from before, probably because you're dealing with a stronger form of metal here, they just click right on. And they're cool. In the meantime, we still have two more. I really like how this came out. I'm really, really happy that I got this and adding it to the collection for that. Thank you. So anyways, let's move on to the Flash. Uh, from there, going backwards, it's like you had Supergirl. Uh, Flash, mainly because I'm liking the idea of unboxing this limited edition uh, character because I would never do it on my own any other time. So I'm forcing myself to do it. If I don't do it first, instead of last, chances are I'm not gonna do it. So for this particular flash, uh, because there are two versions, if not three, same kind of thing. You have the box art in the bottom of it. Let's see. Cha -ching! Which is also um, something you can take out and put on display somewhere else if you wanted to, like with the Super Bowl uh, Artifacts Plus figure. Here is our statue, rather. Here's the box art from the back. What? And I like this. This is, uh, this is really, really nice. Yeah, it looks cool. Uh, curious to see what's coming next. I will definitely get the reverse flash which is also available now as well as um, the uh, regular flash version. I'm hoping that they'll come up with another uh, Supergirl Artifacts Plus statue. Maybe her in normal clothing as a reporter or even her sister to kind of accompany her on here, or one of the villains from the show, like uh, Rain, which would be really cool, uh, just to kind of flush it out, because we've got Flash and Reverse Flash for the TV show, 
but no villains for Arrow yet, as far as I know, but they'll be coming up soon, I'm sure. So anyways, um, this base, oh, this is, so the bases are at the bottom of each of the containers, and they have a good, thick, plastic protective uh, wrapper on it as well. Flashes, yep, flashes base is also the same type metal, beautiful paint, and get your label on the back. Flash also has the uh, magnets on its feet. The details that's on this one look <laughs> pretty much exactly the same as the costume of the TV show. Um, and his, his body type looks the same. The only downside to this particular version of Flash, there are no extra accessories to uh, swap with and change or whatever. His arms do not detach, so don't try it. This is not, wow, this is really cool. And one of the things I like about it is he's actually wearing this when he meets Supergirl. I can fit. That's cool. So, as it stands, I've got Supergirl and Flash standing right next to each other. And I'm going to obviously show you guys this later. But this is how they're looking so far. Supergirl rests on her base uh, a bit easier than Flash does because her feet are flat where Flash's feet come up a little bit almost like he's going to take off kind of thing. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But together, these look good. Of course, I'll post this, which is not showing right now. All right, there we go. And then next, Mr. Oliver Queen. There's uh, several different attachments on the inside, which I'm happy about. So you can actually change his pose and things uh, to fit whatever display and style that you want to put them in. Most statues, or statues, you know, that we had growing up as a kid didn't really have interchangeable pieces and stuff like that. And if they did, there was, you know, something that you would just put on top of it. But these are so well done that you almost forget that they're statues. Oh man, these are great. I'm super psyched about putting it together. So here's the box. Same as the other two. It's great. I love the consistency. And the reason I'm mentioning this is because some people do want to use those labels and things for the displays, but also I have a uh, Man of Tomorrow Superman up here by Jim Lee, as well as a, a Hush Batman. And series-wise, when they made them, you know, there are two posters that mirror each other. I know I've mentioned this before, but it's just one of my favorite things. Having those two uh, looking out at the top of their cities and the uh, posters, the covers, or the figures mirroring each other, is like, wow, that was really cool. And I wish Porto would have done that with uh, that version of Batman and that version of uh, Superman. Unfortunately, they didn't. The, the figures in the box art is amazing still, but they don't do that like they did in the uh, in the posters. It's like, ah, darn. Uh, if they did, the posters would be up there and then the figures would be directly underneath it. So this one does come with two, two different arm settings, which just fell out. Ah, but not really. okay. one with the arrow. There's another one. Uh, as you can see, the base clip down there at the bottom, and it looks like his bow and another hand is there at the bottom as well. That's interesting. Anyways, let me open this one so we can get the base plate out, and so I can put the bow in his hand, set them up, and show you guys. Uh, again, with this particular 
statue, the price point is going to be about the same for all three, which is also very cool. Um, depending on time period, I'm going to say roughly be about 50 to 70 dollars, depending on where you're at, and if you're looking at like limited edition or regular. But anyways, all right, here we go. Base plate. Um, the Arrow one is the only one that says Arrow, the TV series. Supergirl and Flash don't say Supergirl, the TV series, or Flash is the TV series. It's interesting. I wonder why. Um, then again, eh, who cares? So, when it comes to these um, statues, do any of you have any? And if so, what do you have? Do you have any favorite RFX Plus uh, figures from Kotobukiya, whether it's DC or not, doesn't matter. What are some of your favorite ones uh, that have come out or ones that you're looking forward to seeing? Um, there are a few that I'm looking forward to seeing later, but right now, as far as the CW goes, I would like to have uh, every hero, or at least one each from the show. With the exception of Arrow, I want a Diggle to go with Arrow just because, well, it's John Diggle. It's cool like that. Uh, having Diggle with Arrow would make me feel so happy. This is one of my favorite characters from the show, um, as well as it's just really nice to see uh, teammates together. If it's pairing them up, there's the uh, Arrow hand. And the bow hand, the bow is on. Sure. Cool? Um, Diggle and Earl, Flash and Cisco would be kind of cool. And let's say with Supergirl, Supergirl and John Jones. Have those two together, uh, or at least uh, Kara and uh, Alex. I'd be cool with that too. So let's see. get this hand on here properly. Show you guys. Same with the other ones. The attachments are. Really easy to put it on, it's just simple scoop it up and And there you go. Here is your Oliver Queen. You have not failed this collection. The detail on it is great. There's the magnets at the bottom of the bead uh, as well. Um, here is your Oliver Queen, Carzarel, and Alan together. Man, this is cool. It, how cool is that? Love that. So, anyways, there is your unboxing for the Koto CW uh, Arrow, Supergirl, and Flash. These are amazing figures. I will post a link for Koto Bukia down at the bottom. You can check out their Instagram as well. If you have questions, leave them down at the bottom and I will try and have all the questions answered by the next video, so roughly within a week or less. Um, if there's a figure that you're interested in, let me know and I'll look for it and review it for you. Here's the Flash, coming to edition. I love it, dude, it's so cool. And I will hopefully see you soon. Also, any of you going to the uh, San Diego Comic Con? If so, let me know, and maybe we'll set up a meet and greet or something of that nature while I'm there because I will be helping out with Koto while I'm there as well as doing some other work. Uh, until next time, keep it super. <laughs>